Although I have only sometimes brought up Bridgerton on this channel, I really should stop ignoring its beauty and start praising it now. Watching the Debuccaneers on Apple TV made me enjoy this Netflix smash even more. You start to see Bridgerton as a gem once you witness how terrible period dramas can be. The most recent season 3 premiere date announcement video and first look photos have brought back all the feelings of adoration I had for the show's style. More details regarding Anthony and Kate's relationship have leaked out, so let's take a look at what we know so far about the forthcoming season. Francesca, who was just cast, has the potential to be the show's star. All right, we'll leave. The first examination Penny and Colin. A handful of images released by Netflix gave us our first look at season three. The new episodes will revolve on Penelope and Colin as they unveiled their new styles. Penelope has a whole new appearance. I prayed that she wasn't wearing her signature yellow gown because I couldn't stand it. Her hair is very stunning. However, I noticed that in other images and videos, we will get a glimpse of her former personality when the new season starts. This is her older voice addressing Louise. It seems to reason that the focus of at least a few episodes of season three will revolve on her makeover into her new appearance. Moreover, the remainder of the season will see additional appearances from her in a variety of hues. All sorts of new emotions well up in me as I look at the other photos including Colin. I was a bit let down when I heard that Penelope and Colin would be the main characters of this season. I had imagined Colin to be this immature youngster who really needed to mature. With his new hair no and outfit in these photos, however, I'm starting to believe that this season will be Oak. Take a look at this image. Can you not sense something? Anyhow, it's great that they're revamping every character before their season debut. Just in case you forgot, Anthony Bridgerton from the first season and the second were very different characters. I would not be surprised if Colin experiences the same thing. Particularly remarkable is a photograph that depicts the two protagonists in close proximity to one another. It is really astonishing how Penelope looks at Colin. Whoa, I'm very curious about the meaning of this sequence, Kate and Anthony. In this sneak peek from season three, we see my favorite pair. Their third season romance is clearly in its infancy, as the photo clearly shows. As the new white countess, Kate will be adjusting to her new role. All we will see will be the positive aspects of their marriage, since the showrunner has already said that they do not want to introduce any further drama with this pair. This is Oak with me. Also, as numerous behind-the-scenes photos show, Kate will be introduced to the Queen, so that's something I'm pleased to share. Francesca new. Hannah Dodd's new Francesca is seen in another recently published photo. Now that you've seen Hannah filming the new episodes many times, you've probably heard about the actor change. She will have a larger role this season thanks to the new actor, who gives the character an air of maturity and age. What wonderful news! I have been longing to know her better. Release date. Despite all that's excellent that I've told you, I must now tell you something awful. Netflix has graciously agreed to split season 3 into two parts. You would assume there are 20 episodes or such when you hear a program is split in two, but that's not the case. Season 3 will only include 8 episodes and will be released in two parts. This decision is puzzling, until you consider Netflix's goal of maintaining subscribers. The third season will begin on May 16, and the second half will air on June 13, exactly one month apart. There is no more news at this time. Please share your thoughts in comments below. So guys before winding up remember to like subscribe and thanks for watching.